I knew from when I was a very young person that I want to sail around the world. Around the world in eight and a half years, a San Diego couple is less than a day from returning home after setting sail on the high seas nearly a decade ago. 10 News reporter Mackenzie Maynard spoke with them about the sights and the setbacks that come with life on the open ocean. I felt like there was an invisible hand grabbing the front of my shirt saying, come on, you got to do this. For as long as Neil Schneider can remember, sailing around the world has always been a dream of his. We left San Diego on December 15th. 2010. He and his wife Ruth boarded their 48 foot Rudeas sailboat, knowing this would be no quick trip. I figured initially it's going to take about four years. Eight and a half years later. We are very excited on the verge of being emotional. It was an adventure of a lifetime that came with its own difficulties. Whenever you're going to do offshore passages in a small sailboat, you know that you're going to spend a certain percentage of your time cold, wet, sick, scared and sleep deprived and often all five things at the same time. From Mexico to French Polynesia to Tonga, New Zealand, Fiji, even spending a whole year in Thailand. Diving and snorkeling in the Maldives. A world tour spanning 38 countries. We took a side trip to Nepal and did trekking there, which was just over the top. But despite it all, he says his favorite place remains the same. What a fabulous world this is, but I'll tell you, I think one of our favorite places of all the places we visited is San Diego. Reporting, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News. Steve and I are curious what yeah. they did before they <laughs> sailed around the world. Oh well, life. their final sail from Ensenada will take about 11 hours. San Diego Harbor Police will welcome the couple home tomorrow with a water display.